about 15 buildings here have been abandoned for quite some time. They did a lot of searching for the kids here. Specifically for Jennifer and I believe Holly Ann. Growing up on Staten Island, Barbara and I had often heard the legend of Cropsey. You're supposed to have a hook and axe with a knife about this big. Cropsey was the escaped mental patient who lived in the tunnels beneath the old abandoned Willowbrook Mental Institution, who would come out late at night, snatch children off the streets. I have never, I would have never guessed there were the, the amount of weirdos living on Staten Island. There might be somebody on your block. There might be somebody you work with. You know, here's this guy going around picking off these kids. I can imagine how other parents, even if your kid's gone for an hour, I can imagine how they must feel. You know, that's probably the, one of the last things that you ever think about, that somebody would take your daughter. It seemed like everywhere I went, there were people out in the woods looking for that little girl. It's no question if we were going to find her. We definitely were going to find her. She thinks we're picking at dead children's bones. We just want closure on these, that's all. It's scary because we have a boogeyman living on Staten Island all those years. That image forced a lot of people to say, that is the killer. There's no reason for him to exist anywhere else, you know, other than jail. We had the same questions that you're asking me. Why did he do this? What set him off? It's sort of like putting a puzzle together. You know, he likes to be the center of attention, the keeper of the secrets. So I think it'd be great if you could speak for your What if we just do audio? safety, I will not go on. Do you think they're all around us? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. I think he's possessed. I really think that he is demonized and possessed.